All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with God's Raid, another episode going on down here. So let's see where we're at and what we're trying to do and what we're what we're what we're accomplishing. That's really what we're about, right? So we're at level 19. All right, we've gotten a few more things since the last video. Uh, let's look at our heroes real quick. We have gotten a new ascension or awakening right on my guy here. So there you go. He's got three stars now. Uh, I was able to, I did a uh, fusion and I was able to get him up to that little extra bit, which gives him 45 ascendance, 45 plus uh, attack and HP, which is very nice. So he's doing a little bit more damage. We do have enough to level him, but we're kind of shy on gold because we're trying to do some accessory stuff. As far as that, we're still working on these. I haven't gotten the ones I needed. Uh, he's still kind of sitting pretty in his same gear. I don't think we updated. I don't think we updated Noel Chief at all much. Yeah, he's not updated. Uh, we did get nothing for him. And then I think he has all his gear. And we leveled up, I think, a few things. But he's got all his gear. We have to upgrade this one level and then this three just to get him all to 10. And then I did get this weapon. I think we crafted it. I'm going to be putting it on my... What's his name? On my Orc Swordsman. However, it just seems to work on her right now. And she had a garbage weapon so i just threw it on her i might even keep it on her i don't know yet uh we were able to get poseidon's up to three star so he's a three star now he's this dude's really pushing now he's got fifteen thousand attack power which is really nice we did get a few extra awakenings on everybody so now he's got 400 attack we've got 322 attack on my little mage guy we got an extra 3,000 HP on my healer, and we've got 2,200 HP on my tank and about 280 defense extra. So his stats are getting up there. He's almost at 2,000 defense, which is nice. We'll get him a little bit stronger. And now we're just trying to fill in these holes before we start pushing the last area of very hard. I'm just trying to get my accessories built out because we are still having trouble. I, were, I was able to beat, I think, actually, let's get this real quick while we're in here. Boom, let's claim this. Always claim this when you log in. Every six hours, you're going to get gold and stuff, so keep it. Oh, the other thing is that we are now we are now cooking our legendaries. We have four legendaries. We have that awesome uh, darkness mage, the guy that I keep telling you is awesome. Uh, so we've got him in here. Duke, the Duke of Darkness, the Duke of Dickheads. I've said it before. We've got the Harpy Chick, Harpy Queen in here. We've got the mage that we got from the free... Uh, code that you guys should have gotten. I put it up there uh, for Nike and for the free God. And there you go. We've got a robot as well. So those are the ones that we've got. I did get the robot from another fusion as well. So we were able to fuse him. I don't remember where we got him from. I don't remember if it was a fusion or something else, but either way, we've gotten two legendaries from summons and two from fusions. I don't remember which ones. Actually, no, one from fusion, two from fusions, one from the summoning, and then one from the code. There you go. Uh, but we also got a few extras, and that's how I got my ascensions on my swordsman. I got lucky on that one. Yeah, uh, literally this morning I got lucky on it and pulled another copy of him. So there you go. We are getting a lot of good stuff from mail too. Oh, look at this is all clan stuff. Claim that. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of clan coins. Definitely getting a good clan if you start this game, by the way, because I got into this clan and it is it is great. All right, so let's look and see what we're trying to do. So we are trying to level up. Not really level up anymore. Right now, we're just trying to get our accessories so we can get through campaign. We did beat the the one that we were having trouble with, but now we're stuck on this because this guy just has a ton of HP. And even with my new ascension and everything else, it just wasn't enough for some reason. This guy's just kind of a jerk. We'll go look at it real quick so you can see my problems. I got it down to the point where we were able to get everybody still alive. And unfortunately, I think once we beat this guy, we should be able to beat the whole of very hard. It's just this guy's just giving me a lot of trouble because he's got ton of HP and defense, and it's really annoying, but you know what? That is, it is what it is. I'm trying to get my accessories anyway, which is going to be enough to build my skills up and kind of kill them. I feel like if I get lucky on a crit and do some serious damage on this boss, I feel like we can beat him. It's just, it's going to be like a one-off. Hopefully it's this time. I'm hoping it's this time that it's the one-off. Um, this area is a little rough if my swordsman gets attacked by these guys too much, because see how he's already getting his health dropped? I think we can make it. Oh, he's going to push. He's dead. Yep. See what I mean? Like this, this one's a little rough retreat. We'll, we'll try to use my shield here. I think, I, I think it's the best bet. Cause then I can just light everything on fire in the second round. So I'm in mean, the third round. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll use, we'll use Horus to do that. But just so you guys can kind of see where my problem is right now. Um, oop, there we go. And it's funny because I actually know it's not, I, this is actually, we were way stronger when we beat this the first time. But we also have to get 
my gear together because like I said, I'm, I'm kind of running on garbage gear just because I wanted to level first. And now we're, now I'm working on gear. So we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm should be able to get through it within the next day. Uh, as long as I keep building my stuff to keep me alive. And if I get those accessories, that's going to help increase my skill power, which would be nice too. I actually think I can get a few books on, on my swordsman too. All right. So we're going to do this just to stay alive. There we go. They're dead. So now it'll just take a little bit of time. We'll, we'll light, we'll light the boss on fire. It'll get us into the boss quicker too, which is nice. And it's look, nobody's going for this guy. He's just like over there fucking killing people. You know, he's over there just wreck, wrecking people. Let's light everyone on fire and see if that's enough to get everyone dead. And hopefully it is. We just don't want my swordsman or any of my DPS to die because that's the problem here is that we need to stay alive. We're going to get the shield up pretty quickly, I think. Yep, there we go. That should wipe them out nice and quick. And now all we got left is this stupid tank guy who needs to die. We'll use this to slow the boss down. There we go. He's slowed down. So now we have a minute and a half to kill this guy, and it's still kind of not enough. That's the, that's the funny part. I think we're just going to try using everything waiting. I think we're going to try waiting. I want to see if, if we can get the attack up and Poseidon at the same time because we did upgrade him to a level five, which is good. So as you can see, look at that. He's got tons of HP. Oh, I did that at the wrong time. So now we lit him on fire. I don't know if we're going to get to six, but I mean, to, yeah, to six by the time our attack's going to go down again. All right, we got it. Is our attack still up? Who knows? All right, well, it did something. Look at that. It's taken a minute to get him down halfway. Let's try to use these things and see. I may just say screw it and bring in a couple different gods just to beat this boss because he's kind of irritating. We can just poison him to death with like uh, some of the other heroes I and mean, some of the other gods. Yeah, I think we might do that. Yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try playing the god game to, to beat this. So let's see if it works because I know we're strong enough to beat it. It's just literally they just put too much HP on these bosses. It's kind of ridiculous. So let's go in. You're going to come across this. This is the honestly my biggest gripe about the game is these stupid tanks. They're just ridiculously strong for no literally zero reason. It doesn't even like there's nothing that I'm gaining from fighting this. It's just stupid. So let's go in and switch out some gods. We're going to retry. We're going to take Scathy off. We're going to switch Horus. Here, we're going to go into... Actually, no, we'll get out of here. We're going to go into my my Beast Guy info. And we are going to switch for Horus. Because Horus is actually a beast. Now, that's going to give him more attack, all right? We're losing the slowdown. So that's bad. All right, we've got Poseidon, who's good, to keep us alive. Nike's okay. And we've got Artemis. So now for her, what we're going to do is we're going to switch out. I think my option would be... Maybe Isis, because she's the one that does the poison, right? Yeah, she does deadly poisons. So let's do that. Let's enchant that. That's going to give her a little bit more attack. And it's also going to... Actually, no, this isn't going to... This is for humans. Uh, this is going to give her defense, which is fine. That's fine. We'll do that. I just want more attack. That's what we want. So let's try this. Let's see if not having the slowdown is going to kill me, because honestly, that slowdown is really helpful. But if we can poison the crap out of the bosses, I think that might help us a little bit more. It also gave my tank a little more attack, which means she'll, he'll do a little more damage. All right, so the slowdown is not, it's not great, but we're going to still have to use the shield because I can already see we're getting kind of hurt. So that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just whatever. All right, so now we're going to use the shield so that we don't die. That'll kill everybody. And now he's going to go kill that back row guy, maybe, or just sit there and watch him attack us. All right, so we have some stuff. We've got Horus over here, actually, so I'm not paying attention. All right, so this is going to give us two minutes of boss time. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn everybody first. Burn everyone, all right, and then poison everyone. There we go, poison. So now everybody's on fire and poisoning. <laughs> and now we're going to wait for our shield because we kind of want that. Actually, no, we're going to go for straight for attack. We're going to do all attack stuff. There we go, only attack. That's all we're doing. Nothing else, all right? Now we're going to get some attack up on my guy. Where's where we at on Horus? So we're getting close on Horus. We can light everyone on fire. So his health is staying literally right up there. It's because those ads have to be dead. Look at that. And now the guy's dead. This is what I'm saying. This guy is just kind of ridiculous. We might have to really just say screw it and go all attack on him some stuff, which is funny because my guys have crazy attack right now. And this dude is still just insane with it and now my other damage dealer is dead so i doubt we're going to beat it now 
Let me see. But that did kind of work. So as long as if we can get those those ads killed quicker, I think we can do it. Maybe we'll just level up Poseidon a little bit more and get some more attack. I think that might be my option through this. But to be honest, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we don't need to we don't need to watch 30 seconds of this nonsense. So there you go. That's this is kind of what the problem is, and this is why I was saying this game has ridiculous tank bosses for zero reason. So just be be aware that you are going to get stuck on some of these guys. It has nothing to do with the team I'm using. Let's, let's just put it that way. I've, I've done this with a bunch of different teams already at this point, and the same problem is going to exist. You ju just level up. You're going to beat it eventually, and it's fine. And then the next two levels, you're going to literally just... I, I did this last time. I destroyed the last two levels like they were a joke. They just put these in as DPS checks, I guess. I don't know why they do it, but I'm hoping they change it soon enough. I hope they get rid of it because it is really annoying to have to fight a tank boss over and over again for two two to three minutes and then not just not win. That's my only gripe about it, honestly. Otherwise, the game's great. So let's move this out. We're going to take him back out and put them back in their normal stuff because this is the team that actually is good. Oops, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. All right, here we go. Info. No, here we No, I'm doing things wrong. <laughs> there we go. Enchant. Now we're good. All right, now we need my mummy. I need my mummy. I didn't mean to say that, by the way. That actually is just how it came out. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, so let's go look at some other stuff. Let's get out of the campaign. We did finish three-starring everything in here through Eric Desert. Uh, we could probably go back in and three-star some of this. I figured out that it's going to take too long. You know, let's go in here. Let's see if we can do these three-stars. I figured out it's going to take too long to get that armor from the event that's going on right now. So I said, screw it, and I just bought a bunch of stuff that I needed to upgrade my heroes. Just so you guys know, although that armor is pretty good, so if you have the ability to get it, it just takes too much time because you need to, you have to get 200 a day, and I think you have maybe a three-day leniency. And right now, I just don't have that kind of time to farm for 200 of those pearls every day. So basically, what I'm, I did is I just bought all my upgrade materials, and I, I'm done with that event, basically. Uh, unless I do the campaign at all like when i grind campaign i'll go in there and buy a couple things but as far as the armor itself yeah i'm done i got the i got some god potions so i can get i got my zeus uh, zeus uh poseidon up to level 30 and th up to three star with it and that's kind of where i use my powers <laughs> that's where i use my pearls i, I use them to get my guy leveled up a little bit stronger and see, this is how I need to be for that fight, is just get it to the point where we can use both of those in the last thing. So I think just getting my gear leveled up to skill so I can actually just use my attacks in the correct order, I think we can beat that boss. It's just going to take some time. All right, so there you go. We were able to beat that one. I think there's a few levels in here that are rough. See, Duke is going to be hard because if we don't kill him in that first like three seconds, he just wipes the floor with the team, in which case you're going to have to do... Uh, you have to bring like Anubis in to kind of keep your team alive from that main hit. The goal is really just kill him in the first like three seconds. <laughs> really, you just got to use use your uh, Ares or use Horus and then jump right into Poseidon. And that should wipe out all the adds. And then hopefully it's enough to take him down to half health. And then your guys, your heroes should be able to kind of crush him after that. Now, this one's a little bit rougher because the you got a tank in here. The tank the tank healer combo is the worst because it's just nonstop healing and tanking. And the tanks are already strong, so like having a healer in there just adds to that burden. But these guys don't seem to be too bad. We still have two minutes left. This isn't like the fight we're just doing. It's actually a lot easier. Say we use this, and then we gotta wait for that. And then Poseidon will give us our shield. So hopefully the first hit doesn't kill us. There we go. Everyone's dead. And now we hopefully kill him before he does that. See what I mean? That's good. Now we're going to use our... Oh, we didn't have to use it. I was going to say I can use Artemis. So there you go. Duke's dead. That's how most of my fights go. And honestly, that's how most of the fights in the... Uh, after we beat that tank is going to go, which is why it's so funny that they made that so hard that it takes three minutes to beat it. Leave this. I'm going to keep coming back to that because I, I it really does bother me. <laughs> uh, there we go. In here. If Honestly, if the boss after it was hard... I would say, yeah, it's good to have a DPS check. But the boss after it isn't even hard. It's literally a joke fight once you beat that tank. So, yeah. <laughs> a DPS check should be so that you're strong enough to beat the boss after. But I could beat the boss after it already. So let's go in, kill some things, and get some levels. 
That's right. We're going to get a bunch of attack on our heroes from the Awakenings, and we're still rocking crap weapons, which is the funny part. I only have, what, one legendary weapon on my my team right now? So we definitely need to get some some better weapons leveled up on my heroes with some attack, because that's going to help us get through those fights. I blame everything on the equipment right now, because I've been focused solely on leveling. So that's why I stopped for a little bit, and I'm moving into equipment, because we need to get some equipment stuff. I also haven't gotten a lot of the legendary stuff I need to get, so I'm going to have to go through and beat some of those quests so I can get that stuff too. Did I just... Are we in the boss? I can't tell sometimes, because they do put big guys in there every once in a while. There you go. All the ads are dead. And even though this guy's tanky, he's not a tank, but he's tanky. Here we go. We use, use some uh, Artemis to smack him down. We have 20 seconds to beat this guy. And I've noticed that right at the last second, a lot of times you'll see like their HP looks like it's zero, and they still don't die. I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's just because they're like regening or something. I don't know what it is, but it happens often. There we go. Where are we at? We got one guy left, right? Yep, one guy left. Well, we got Lightning Boy. Mr. Lightning Friend. I actually do want to build this guy because he is really cool and he has a defense down. So if you are building um, any of the epic heroes, I would say that the Lightning Demon is probably a really good one to use. Just for that defense down, he'll be able to take down bosses like that pretty easily if you use him, which would be good. Uh, but if you're using the rares like I am, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of a harder time. Or not. Maybe you'll have a harder time the other way. I don't know because I haven't used him. I've Used him only in, uh, what is that? In the towers, and I've used him in the Hall of Gods. And I've always used him at, like, level one. All right, well, that's right, we're already at the boss. Here we go. So now we need to get this off quick so that we don't die, because he's going to start using that thunder thing, which kills us. So there we go. We've got a shield, which should be enough to take care of whatever attack he hits, but we whapped him in the face, and he's dead. Look at that, 118,000 damage. And it's still not enough to kill that orc. Damn it, I gotta stop bringing it up. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Alright, there we go. We have now five-starred the Lava Prison. So now we're done here. We have, what do we need? 20, 17, so it's 30 minus 3. So 27 more stars in here to get it done. And Lonely, this area is a little rough, I think. I think it's a couple tanks. This one's gonna be tough. This one might not be that tough. This one is going to be harder. This one shouldn't be too bad, as long as I can kill. I think we three-starred this the first time we played the game on the other team. We were able to three-start the first shot. I think someone just got a lucky hit last time I did it, because my team was a lot, lot lower power when we got here. I actually really love this team, funny enough. like I'm not upset with the fact that I built them. Like I don't care. Like it's it's really fun, actually. I like doing this with these rares. It's making the game a little more fun because I'm not spending literally, you know, four weeks leveling to get my heroes up in the beginning. So, and the good news is, if I do decide that I really, 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 really want a hero leveled, I can literally just reset some of uh, my rares. But we're not going to be doing any of that. I don't want to be resetting. I just want to level them. So, is this the boss? Yeah. So this is the boss. We'll light them all on fire. Chorus is so fun. Where's my... There we go. I almost got screwed up there because uh, my my uh, mouse wasn't in the right place. All right, let's kill this chick with Artemis. Boom. Then there you go. She's dead. Like I said, I think, I think someone just got a lucky hit the last time we did this, and that's why I ended up getting one star. Because then I think it was my DPS that died, and then once your damage dealer dies, it's just it's over because the fight just takes too long. All right, there you go. Let's see. Let's check out and see if we can kill this monkey. This monkey is... He's another jerk. Like the the monkey, the the uh, tank guy. Surprisingly enough, this is the first time that we've really gotten stuck on a tank boss. Like it hasn't happened yet. So I, the fact that it's only just happened with this team is it's a good sign for me personally that we're doing something better than we did last time. So there is that. The only downside is my team's a little bit less defensive right now than they were before, so they aren't able to survive without killing things first. So I'm I'm kind of going more with the I want to kill things fast route as of this moment rather than you know me trying to be a little more defensive cuz time is a, is a, is very important in this game. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Light them on fire as always. It's my favorite with Horus. Horus loves the fire. We didn't start the fire except except Horus did. 
All right, so now we have to slow him down. He's going to throw his little baby monkey. His little baby monkey friend is coming out soon. I can tell. Let's do this. All right, so now we got to save for... I should have saved a little bit longer just because we want to be able to kill that little baby monkey. But I think they're going to kill him. I think they got it. Hopefully this little baby monkey doesn't kill anyone. He did not. There we go. And at least he works better than the skeletons because the skeletons you have to kill before the time expires. Him you don't, which I like better, to be honest. All right, leave that. So now we can do, what do we got? He's the next one. He shouldn't be as bad. I think the only reason he wins is because he does that jumping crap and he jumps around and smacks everyone in the head and then kills somebody and you've got no way through. So that's kind of a, a nightmare. But it looks like overall, though, I think this is a good team for anyone. I think you guys can really, really benefit from using a, a rare team, especially if you're having trouble even getting to where I am in the first 10 or 11 days. Because I think we're on, what, day 11, day 12 now? Um, and it's like I said, it's really just time. That's it, time. And the reason that I'm taking a little more time is because I'm just kind of relaxing. This isn't like full-blown. Are we on the final boss? I'm not watching. No, we're not. It's like I wasn't watching where we were. I get this gets dangerous here when you you have to try to not use your skills. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're gonna light them all on fire as always, and then we go for our shield so that no one dies. There we go. Boom! Everyone's dead. And now hopefully Bouncy McBouncerson here is not gonna use his skill. We're gonna slow him down with the uh, the arrow. And there we go. Look at him just dying like a dirty orc. That's right, you dirty orc. Even though I killed you with another dirty orc. <laughs> Yay! All right, now, was this... There's one fight left, right? Yep, that's it. One fight left on six. All right. It's crazy how we're three-starring these like it's easy, right? And then that one boss is just a jerk. And I, I swear, I, I'm not going to bring that up anymore. I'm also lying. I will bring it up because I'm, I'm bothered by it. <laughs> it makes me feel bad that that boss takes that long. Especially when I have an orc that does 118,000 damage on a crit rate. Uh, on a critical hit. This bothers me. It's like he just decides to not crit. The guy probably has everything all in crit rate and everything else. So, yeah, accuracy, baby. We actually have a reasonable accuracy, too. Oh, this is the boss. I didn't realize we were that close already. That went fast. It's probably because the boss is is uh, tough with the freaking defense over here. All right, so now here we go. We got a minute and 10 seconds to kill a boss that's alone. All right, we slowed her down. I think she heals, right? Does she heal? I don't remember. I know she does the defense thing. I think it heals her, too. All right, we're going to try and... Yeah, he's got a shield thing. Luckily, that shield's going to go down pretty quick. All right, we're going to save for the fire. Hopefully, we can get it in pretty quickly. All right, looks like we got her. Just got to make sure she doesn't do that crap again. There we go. Light yourself on fire. Hopefully, that's enough. There you go. She's burning to death. Done. All right, Lonely Shore. Very hard is three-starred. And that rhymes. I didn't I didn't mean that to rhyme. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. All right, let's get out of here. Level. All right. So now we have three starred everything in very hard, and we are gonna work through on this. I'm not worried about three starring this for a little while because these bosses have way too much EX, I mean way too much health. And we are gonna hopefully get this legendary soon, which is nice. I just want these freaking summon stones, to be honest. Everything else here I could care less about. Um this will be nice if I can get the orc again, because then that'll get me closer to getting him to four star. It costs 120,000 gold to get him up from two star to three star. That's a lot of money. And then when we get him to, is it in here? Oh, we have awakening point. Wait a minute, we have an awakening point. Oh, that's right. We only have one point on everybody right now because we were leveling. Do I want to put that in attack? Sure. Yeah, I just think we're just going to put it on attack, even though he doesn't need it. There we go. We got 60 attack on my guy. We want anything that has attack. All right, this is HP. We need them to stay alive. So we're going to do defense. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Or HP. We're going to do defense because they need defense. My guys need to stay alive longer. That's part of the problem. Luckily, these awakening levels aren't hard to get. So even if I do, do, if I do it this way, it's fine. Eight defense. That is crazy. 300 HP. Why is his stats so low? Everyone else has higher stats. Whatever. We'll do a defense. Oh, look, 24, 30, yeah, 24 defense. I'll take it. Winner, all right? And then we'll throw some defense on her. There we go, just so that they stay alive longer. There you go, another 20 
defense. All right, so we're getting some stuff done. This guy can level up now, I think, right? We can register everything here and get him to 44. It's 36,000. It's crazy, right? Just for one damn level. All right, so there you go. We got him leveled up. He's going to take a little bit of time to get him up there. He's at 69,000 power at this point. Once we throw on some other gear with him, I think we'll get him up to probably 70, 75 once we get him settled. Probably in the next few days, hopefully for the next video, I'll have him kind of built out because I have been spending a lot of time in this game. And as you can see, I've been cooking heroes. Look at that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heroes that are cooked, ready to go to level two from uh, the epics, which is nice. So we're going to eventually have a bunch of heroes that we can use in here. We did beat stage 150 in the tower. I think, I don't know if we went any further. I think last time we showed this, I think we died here. I think that was the problem, right? I honestly don't remember. We should be able to get to 160, but like I said, I, I think I got stuck on 155 or 154 last time, like on the last account, because I remember it, I remember it being a lot harder for some reason. Yeah, because see, everything does a lot of damage. This is why my defense is going to have to go up a little bit on some of my gear. It's not my my stats that are bad. It's the it's the uh, it's the freaking the gear because we're still we're still rocking some rare gear. Whereas on my other account, I think everybody was pushing some kind of uh, epic gear, which was nice. And I had three, or I think I actually had legendary weapons on every hero, but it was also a month in. So we were further along, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I can't tell if this if this is better or worse. I think it's better. It looks better. It feels better. <laughs> I just don't know if it is better yet. I guess 100%, but from what I can tell and how far we're moving ahead on this account, I feel like this is better, and it's it's working better than that all-human team, which was nice, as much as I liked it. I actually did like that team, to be honest. It's all right. I'll have them again. I will have them all again. I can't remember which one was the bad one. I mean, they're all the bad ones, but like once you get to stage 150, yeah, there's it's like all bets off. Everything, has be everything becomes much more difficult, and you're going to start getting bombarded by really strong attacks. Look at that. They almost killed my back row. So that defense becomes a little more important. And we also have Berserker here, who's really strong. Hopefully we can get Poseidon off before they go. Come on. There we go. We got it. Before anyone dies, because now we can at least stay alive. And of course it happened. I should have just burned them all, because it was literally right there at the end. He was, he was down to like 0.5 HP. But yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff from this. That's good. Uh, I have been doing the daily stuff still, even though we're at 60. I think we did everything. So the Hall of Gods we have to do. And clan donation I didn't do. Whoops, my bad. My bad. Clan donate. Always clan donate. There we go. Do a grand donation. All right, so we got that. And we need to do the Hall of Gods real quick. So challenge, Hall of Gods. Uh, we are working on one of these. I'll do Sharon. I'll just do stage three. I'm not in the mood to move forward right now. We're literally just trying to get stuff. There we go. And getting those, getting all those extra shard pieces from the daily quest, even when you've beaten it, is 100% worth it because you want to be able to fuse. So anytime you can get heroes is a good time. So if you do get to Stixie, don't stop doing the daily, the daily missions. All right, so now we've got that done. We'll save up for the fire, I think, because this guy will be dead in like three seconds. Where's the fire? Here we go. I get confused as to where where uh, Horus is sometimes, or where any gods are at this point. There we go. Now we can light them all on fire. Boom. Look at that. It's nice to have two AoE attacks, because then you can use the shield and then use the AoE attack to just kill all the ads. I think we can beat stage four. What do you think? That was, <laughs> that was way easy, right? All right. So we were able to beat those. Now we got some more summon stuff. There we go. We got what? 10 from this, which is good. And we got, I think, what, three? Yeah, so we got 30 from this. Look at this. This is, this is all stuff that you can fuse, so make sure you're getting these. Weekly missions just reset, so we will probably get some, most of these, so we'll get some gold from doing the things we normally do anyway. And the seasonal missions, I think we might actually end up doing this legendary thing because I'm trying to craft a couple of things that I have. I have ores for it, so I might as well do it. And we are going to get this definitely because of the awakening. So we are, because right now we're awakening anyway. Uh, what are we getting here? Do we have anything for free? No. Oh, we're going to get 300 gems, though. That's nice. Uh, account level 20. Yeah, so we'll probably get it for that. That's good. Because I'm probably going to be doing a bunch of campaign anyway to level that up. So, basically, 
what we're doing right now is working. We're getting through. We're going to beat very hard pretty soon, and uh, we'll be up into hell mode, and hopefully that's enough. I think we t- it took us about a week to start beating hell mode, I think, from the time we got to it. I don't really know what the time progression for this team is going to be. Uh, really, it's the tank bosses that just can kind of stop any team from doing anything because you're just not they're just not going to let you pass. But uh, other than that, I have had almost zero trouble on most of the things in here. Uh, we, we push forward on most of the mazes. It's They're pretty easy going. Arena, we're in gold three as of right now. I think we won six out of four fights last time. I mean, look, yeah, we're, yeah we have a 76.9 win rate. So we're moving along okay. We're going to get some more gold here, but that's it. After we get this, it's basically into ruby. Again, so we're we're done with rewards as far as what we're going to be getting, um, but yeah, we're gonna get some books and we'll get some some gold from this, and then yeah, it's there's not going to be much left here, unfortunately. So we're not going to be getting anything from Arena anymore, but at least we're getting wins. We're gonna be able to get some coins from there, which is nice. Shop, we've been doing pretty well with Clan. I mean, we're at seven hundred and twenty coins right now, and I've been blowing through them, just using them on like stones and stuff. So that's fine. Arena, we have four hundred coins. I actually didn't buy this today. There we go. Always buy that. Uh, We're going to try and save up. We're going to start saving arena coins a little. I may end up just trying to save up for Ares at this point because I really want him. He's the only one I don't have. And I would like to get him. I think it's going to take forever. The game just doesn't want to give it to me. But I also want to save up because these hammers are going to become very important. Um, Very important, actually. So we we definitely need to start kind of hoarding hammers for when we start upgrading gear so that we can actually build them up and fail a hundred times. That's going to be fun. Going from 10 plus, oh, it's going to be, I already know it's going to be a nightmare. It's a nightmare getting to 10. So we're going to hope for the best and see if I can figure out a better way to do it. All right, so that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to go over, feel free to leave a comment. It's always great to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these teams. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, God's Raid, even though it has frustratingly annoying tank tank bosses. (laughs) I told you I was going to bring it up again. Uh, Even though it has that, it has so many other good things that are great. And uh, it definitely is going to be fun uh, once we get through uh, very hard, and we're starting to get our team a little bit more built up like it was last time. We're, we're getting way closer, and it's going to take a little bit more time to level just because we didn't reset anyone. When you reset someone, you can actually get a lot more experience quicker. So that's an option if you want to build somebody and then reset them just to level someone else up. There you go. You can get to level two. I can get probably get to level 20 right now if I did that, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, uh, I think the game's really fun, and it's actually starting to grow on me a little bit more. I've been playing it more than Raid, and it's been a lot more fun, to be honest, than Raid, because it's, it's at least it's challenging in a fun way. Like, I hate I hate the tank bosses, but it's still challenging me to go do something about it, you know? In, in Raid right now, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of just coasting. So, we'll see. It's, 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 it's new, it's early, even though I've been playing the game for about a month and a half now, uh, over, off, on and off different accounts. We'll see how it goes. But I think we're finally at a point where we're going to stick to it, uh, we're in a good clan. We have a good team. I think we have a good grasp on things. We have a reasonable amount of uh, gems, and we have a ton of heroes that we can fuse. So if I get stuck and I need a couple extra, say we have a bunch of stuff here, I could fuse some Legos and do some stuff once we get into that point. We've got over 100 of most of these things here. I've used a couple of them. Look at this. I mean, we've got a reasonable amount, considering we've fused over 100 times, I think. So yeah, we're saving up. We're trying to keep our heroes together. We will be leveling other heroes to get our, our boosts up. I think that's what we're going to end up doing, to be honest, is just leveling up a bunch of my low-level heroes and just seeing how far we can get them to get our Legion bonus up. So, yep, and that's it. Uh, if you uh, Make sure you like, share, uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. It's always good for the channel. You help us grow. <laughs> Imagine I say it like that every time. Like, it helps us grow. Yeah, uh, I don't know. That sounds like a monster from a movie. You know what? It doesn't matter. Well, this is God's Raid, the, the best game out right now. And uh, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and you guys take care.